everyone. Hope everyone's having a great day. Today we're going to work on adding in the, the Russian push-up. And what I mean by Russian push-up, um, in the, the dip variation videos, I did a Russian dip, where you're on your bars, you come down to that bottom position, you roll back onto your forearms, you roll back to your hands, and push back up. And that Russian component would be that rolling back to the forearms and coming back up. We're going to do that in a push-up. It's a great way to get some multi-planar movement into your exercise, add a little variety, work the body slightly differently. And it's also awesome for people who are building up to some of the more advanced levels. For example, in a muscle-up. Let's say I'm on the rings or on the bar, whichever you're doing your muscle up on, and I come down and at that bottom position where I open up my chest, push the shoulders forward, and raise the elbows, it's a very similar type of a transition working those same muscle groups. Same thing if somebody's doing a tiger bend push-up where you start out in a forearm stand, move over to your hands, so you're almost in a headstand type position, push up to a handstand, come back to the head, and back to the forearms. It's almost that same type of a transition. So this will help the body to get stronger and more aware of moving in that way. For a basic tiger, or for a basic um, Russian push-up, if I take my normal push-up, I'm going to be right here doing my push-up. For the Russian version, I'm going to take this and I'm going to go down, kick my elbows back, come back forward, and up. So I'm going down, going to the forearms, hand, and back up. I can also take the same movement and I can put it into a one-arm push-up. So for example, I'm down, I'm in my normal one-arm push-up position, I'm down, I'm over onto my forearm, and I'm back up. It's a nice difficult variation of that. We can also take it, let's say, into a Hindu or a dive bomb type position where I'm up on my hands and I'm scooping down. If I hang out here at the bottom for a second, I can push back, move to my top position. For a Hindu push-up, I come back. For a dive bomber, I could do this, open up all the way, bring it back, do another little Russian movement before pushing back to the beginning. We can also take this movement and put it into our pike push-ups. Pike push-ups are an excellent way of building up to handstand push-ups, and this will be an excellent way of adding in more range of motion and making sure to um, get that transition for the eventual tiger bend. For this, of course, you want to make sure that your hands are close to your feet. You're going to put as much body weight, of course, on your hands as you can. Go down, touch the head, and come back up. That'd be our normal pike. For the Russian variation, we're going to go down, transition, come back, and up. So those are all wonderful ways of doing it. You could even do it with some of the explosive push-ups. For example, on a, a clapping push-up, we could go down, Russian, clap, down, Russian, clap, etc. Wonderful variations. Give them a try. Add that little Russian movement back down to the forearm. I think you'll love it. Have a great one.